All right, everyone, what you see before you are two hydraulic uh, fuel injectors. Uh, they're mechanical injectors, and uh, they're part of my tractor. I have an IMT 560, and it has the M3400 engine. I uh, have a total of eight injectors, four of which I got from a uh, junkyard a year or two ago. But uh, I've reworked four of them. I was planning on going to the farm and installing these this weekend, but didn't get a chance. And in essence, what you have is a cap, an adjusting nut or cap underneath here that pushes against the spring, a uh, lock nut, the body, the uh, input for the uh, hydraulic, uh, hydro, excuse me, diesel fuel, and uh, the nozzle and a retainer here. This is a whole nozzle and there's two little holes in here and when enough pressure is applied to the uh, diesel fuel it basically sprays two pulses. I'm going to demonstrate that in a few minutes and I'm also going to demonstrate how to uh, disassemble uh, one of these. I have a total of four and what I'm doing now is since I have new nozzles on four units that I've adjusted I'm going to cherry pick uh, remaining four with nozzles that I have to figure out which is the best so I can have a second set if uh, need be. These run $23 a piece so I figured I didn't want to spend another hundred dollars when they should last uh, quite a while. According to the uh, books they should go about a thousand hours which is 25 million cycles barring of course I imagine sitting there and electrolysis. But uh, with that I'm going to show you some spray patterns and then disassemble the uh, remaining four injectors. Alright everyone, here's my test setup for checking the uh, nozzles. I uh, there's some safety warnings. This thing sends out spray pressure. It's at 120 uh, bar is operating, so we're talking 14 times that or 1,718 pounds of pressure spraying out. So you have to be very cautious in using the device. It also has something warning you not to put your hands there. I bought this. It says H60H. I bought this off uh, eBay in essence. Uh, I couldn't find one with the gauge reading I wanted. Unfortunately the operating pressure and opening and closing is down on the low end. I tend to like being higher up on the uh, gauge but when you look at cost, what was available and getting things in, this is the best I could do. You see red fluid in the back here and that's basically diesel fuel off road diesel fuel. So let me prime it and show you now this nozzle is uh, working. This is an older one that has not been reworked. Alright, I'm going to try and show you. If you take a look at the pressure, you can see it goes up to about 1800 where it starts to uh, trip. And I know that you probably can't see it very well. Let me get the garage door open. But it does fire an anima atomized Atomized. <clears throat> atomized spray. I'm going to try and get a shot of it in the sunlight and see if that works any better. Hold on. Okay. You can see it coming down at one angle and over. And that one is spraying rather well. And this is one that I had a uh, cherry picked is to uh, keep. The next one will be of a demonstration of one with the brand new nozzle. Alright, this is with a new nozzle and if you can hear the chirping it's a higher pitch and I don't know if the photos are doing it justice but you can see the spray is much finer mist. There's no stream that comes out any distance at all. It's all uh, mist. It's aerated real, real well.